Having a progress bar to help you see exactly where along the line you are with a specific project can be really, really useful. In this video, I'm going to go over how to make one with emojis. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. For those of you that understand formulas in Notion, this is the whole formula that we're going to get to. But if you're interested to learn how this works and how you could change it to suit your own needs, then stick around and I'll show you how. To start with, like we do in most videos, is we're going to create a table database view. We're going to label this table projects because essentially we're going to have all of the projects in this one database. And then because a progress bar is related to a percentage or a decimal place, we need two number properties, goal and completed. You can get these numbers from rollups and relations, but for this video, I'm just going to create two number columns. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to have four projects, all with different outputs at the end of the formula. Now that we've got four different examples, we can create that first formula check. So we're going to create a column. So the first formula is actually to check to see if we've completed the project. To work this out, we're going to do completed divided by goal, which will give us a decimal place. And we want to check to see if it is bigger than or equal to one. We're going to ask that as a question, and the first argument will be if that is true. So if it is equal to or bigger than 1, it will be 100%, so we will have completed it. The second argument that we're going to separate using a colon will be if it's not true, so we still have things left to do in the project. As you can see with our four different projects, one of them is completed and three of them are not. The next thing we want to check is that there is a number in the goal property. So we're going to put goal property, empty, and that basically checks whether there is something in that cell or not. So you can see we've got a tick down the bottom in project 4 because the goal box is empty. Now we're going to ask that as a question, and the first argument is going to be add target. So if it is empty, we need to add a target. The second argument is no, because there is a target in there. So you can see project 4 has an empty goal, so we need to add the target. Our next check is going to be whether we've actually started tracking what we're doing. So we're going to look at the completed property, check if it's empty, ask a question. And if completed is empty, then we need to add progress. If it's not empty, we can put no. So you can now see project 1 and project 2, we need to add in our progress because we haven't put anything in the completed cell. Now what we're going to do is start creating the progress bar. So we're going to use the slice function, and this is where you're going to put in whatever emoji you want to have when it's done. So I'm going to put a smiley face. I'm going to put 10 to represent each 10%. I then want the slice to start before the first emoji, so I'm putting a zero. I'm now going to use the floor function, so when we create a decimal place, it rounds it to a whole integer. The reason I'm using the floor to round up that number is because when you go for completed divided by goal, it could give you a decimal place and we can't have part of an emoji showing because it would just show an error. We can't leave completed divided by goal because it will always be smaller than 1 because of our completed check that we did at the beginning. So if we times that decimal place by 10 and then round it up, instead of 1 being 100%, it's now 10 being 100%. That will actually give us our number for our slice from 1 to 10. But because emojis fill up more than one character space, they actually fill up 2, we need to times all of that by 2. That will avoid the emoji being cut in half again and showing us that error box. So in project 2 we've got 50 divided by 100 which is 0.5, 
times that by 10 to make 5, but because emojis are twice as big, we need to double that to make 10. So five emojis are now showing because that's filling up 10 spaces. Essentially, I've doubled the progress bar size. So instead of showing 10 icons, I'm showing 20 icons, but the icons fill up two spaces. Now for the second part of the progress bar, I actually want to show you the reverse. So I'm going to duplicate that property. I'm going to change the slice emoji to something else so I can tell the difference. And now what I want to do is actually take that away from 100%, which in this case is 20. So now we have what's left in the progress bar. And out of personal preference, I like having a number representative at the end of the progress bar as well. What we're going to do is actually create that percent by going completed divided by the goal times by 100 and then rounded so we don't have a long decimal place percentage. And now because that's just a number, we're going to add a percent on the end. And as you can see down the bottom, it doesn't let us do that because we have a number and a text. So we're going to change that percent number into a text string by putting format at the beginning. That is the progress bar broken down to all its different parts. And now we're going to put it together. Obviously, when you're putting it together, you can take things away, add things in, change the emojis. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to enter our first check, completed divided by goal is bigger than or equal to one. If it is, then you did it. If not, then I want to do the next check. So now I'm gonna check if goal is empty. If the goal is empty, then put add goal. If not, then I want you to do another check. So check to see if completed is empty. If it is, add progress. If it's not, then I want you to show the progress we've currently got to. So we're going to add the slice, put in our emojis, start it from zero, floor completed, divided by goal, times by 10, and times by two. And now we're going to add that to the progress that's left. So the second slice check, add in your emojis, Start it from zero. Floor completed divided by goal times by 10 times by two. And because this is the progress left, we need to make sure that we've got 20 take away that number. Now we're gonna add in that percentage at the end. So format to make sure that the number is allowed. Round completed divided by goal times by 100 to make it into a percentage. And then we're going to add the percent symbol on the end. If you want to use the amount of tasks you actually have related to that project as your goals or as you're completed, then check out this video that explains rollups. I'll see you there.